Sweet Sambiel. My name is Aida and today I'm going to be answering a few questions and I'm going to update you guys a little on some stuff. Okay, so I posted on Facebook um, if you have any questions for me. And the little, little Ferraro Kitchen asked me if someone wanted to start or expand with Puerto Rican flavors, what ingredients would you recommend to start with? And she already made my sazon. It was a beautiful picture and thank you for sharing. Sofrito. To me, that would be the key to Puerto Rican cooking and learn how to make an amazing white rice and stewed beans. But sofrito is the, the building block of our food. Julie, Julia asked, what do you miss the most about Puerto Rico? The food. <laughs> Literally the food. It's so different. I mean, there are Puerto Rican restaurants where I live, but it's not the same. Amy asks, what is the difference between sofrito and recaito? To me, they are one and the same. But sofrito is, the sofrito that I have on my channel, when you cook it, it becomes sofrito. Technically, it is recaito, which means all green veggies. So, recaito is when it's uncooked. When you saute it, sofrito means to saute in Spanish. So, when you cook it, it becomes sofrito. Let me see. Miriam asked, um, are there any healthy Puerto Rican recipes? Um, I answered you a little bit on Facebook, but everything in moderation. I don't cook like you see in my videos every single day. I do my brown rice, I do sweet potatoes, but everything in moderation. And I showed, I explained to you a couple of things that you could do. Let me see. Um, Candice asks, would you ever consider doing vlogs on your channel, whether it was your everyday life or just food related stuff? I answered you also. My daughter and my hubby, wants, they want me to do a vlog channel, but I say I'm too boring. I mean, just let me the, know down below in the comments, what would you like to see? Would you like to see me prepping for a video or, you know, I don't know. My life is pretty boring. Um, let me see. Ruth asked, do you know what time of year is the best to plant the ajicitos dulces? Honestly, I do not know. But I do know that you can, I had what, I have a plant and I have it in a big planter. Although I live in Florida, sometimes we get frost and freezes. And since I have it in a pot, it's very easy for me to bring in and out. Um, like I said, it was a quick update. I hope you guys are liking the videos that I'm putting out now. If you have any suggestions on what you want to see next, just leave them down below. Um, I'm doing now a Thanksgiving cooking series, which I haven't mentioned, but I'm trying to replace of an American Thanksgiving meal. Like the mashed potatoes, I already replaced them with my juca casserole. The turkey, traditional turkey, I replaced it with my pavo choke. And today, I'm filming another video to replace sweet potatoes. So, more updates. I entered a cooking contest. It's called Crock Pot Ultimate Crock Stars. I submitted my slow cooker ropa vieja video. And right now it's up for voting. You can vote from now till November 9th every day. And please, I need your votes. I'm like seven right now. So I would truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart if you, I'm going to leave the link down below. It's called crockstars.com and there's going to be a picture of um, a black crock pot with a piece of meat in it. That's my recipe. That's my ropa vieja. So that's about it. Um, please remember to like this video and subscribe if you haven't. So let me let you guys go so I can start with this video.